Hello, hi everybody, I am Thekla Petridou, a Cypriot psychologist, YouTuber and an author, and today it's Friday the 16th of October 2020, and this is our weekly video in English. Today's subject is a question. Should I date someone who would never consider to be in therapy? Many times we have questions uh, that we would like to ask on a first date. And most, <laughs> most possibly on a first blind date, whether it is uh, online or in person. When we meet somebody, when we flirt with somebody, when we, get, when we are starting to get to know a person with the prospect of forming a romantic relationship, what are the things that we should care about? What are, what are the prerequisites so that uh, we can choose wisely to form a relationship? Today we'll talk only about this one. The possibility that the person we meet would visit a therapist or undergo therapy if needed. I'm a psychologist and a psychotherapist and it's my job to be in favor of psychotherapy. I'm not doing this video in order to advertise psychotherapy, but I'm doing it in order, in order to stress, stress the importance of somebody being willing to get help when they need it. Nowadays, uh, people live very secular lives. We don't live a community life anymore. This is a good thing, the bad thing. The bad thing about not living a community life is that we do not get any community social resources to help us with our difficulties in our relationships. When a couple faces problems, when a couple has uh, quarrels, when they fight, when they have uh, heated discussions, when they cannot agree on some things, when they feel uh, estranged from each other, they need somebody to intervene and help them communicate and mend the relationship if this relationship is uh, able to be mended. In uh, past times, uh, people lived in communities and they had their community uh, wizard or their community doctor or their community priest or their community elders. And when they had problems, they would have a meeting with them and try to get help in order to resolve their problems, resolve their conflicts, or take important decisions about the future of the relationship. In modern times, people live alone, either by themselves when they're single or in very small uh, families. A couple live alone, lives alone, a couple with a child live alone, a couple with two children live alone, a couple with a pet live alone, a couple without children, no pets, they live alone. And when they have problems, they do not have anybody, anybody that is destined from their community circle or their society environment to help them work through their problems. People are not religious anymore. People are not so close needed anymore. They don't have so close-needed relationships with other members of their community. So it is crucial, according to my opinion, it is important when we try to form a relationship to ask this basic question. Have you ever been to therapy? And if not, where are you in a long-term uh, relationship? Or where, where are you in a marriage relationship? Would you consider undergoing therapy in case you had problems? And if the person you are asking this question answers, no, I've never been to therapy, I never want to go to therapy, I do not believe in therapy, I don't think that psychologists and psychotherapists are essential, I wouldn't waste my money on visiting somebody who would tell me the obvious things, I can read a book by myself and find the answers. I'm intelligent enough or educated enough in order to find solutions to my problems and I don't need any outside help. If they give you this answer, please consider not to see them again. Why? Because if somebody does not accept therapy, 
and does not, does not recognize the importance of therapy is a person that when you get involved with, you have no uh, possible ways to rescue your relationship when it is in danger. I know this sounds strict. I know this might sound prejudiced. Somebody might say that. You say that because you are a therapist yourself. You say that because you are a psychologist yourself. You say that because it's your job. No, I say that because life has taught me that people who are not respectful of the science of psychology and are not respectful of psychotherapy, they do not get the opportunity to have the help they deserve. And if they live by themselves, it's okay. When you live by yourself, you can make your own choices. You can choose not to take any mental health assistance, not to visit a mental health professional when you have issues with yourself. When you live by yourself, you might choose not to get vaccinated, not to get any medical treatment for any medical condition you have, because it's just you and yourself, and your choices affect yourself and only. But if you move in a relationship, if you form a relationship with another person, and even further, if you move, if you, if you make a family with another person, you get married or cohabit with somebody, have children with, and you insist or not, on not taking any help from a mental health professional when needed, this mean, when needed, this means that you put yourself and your family and your relationship in danger in danger of God, in danger of yourself, in danger of your inner demons that you do not recognize the scientific way to tame them, in danger of your emotions that can be uncontrollable. You might have uncontrollable anger, uncontrollable sadness. You might uh, fall into depression. You might have uh, an anxiety disorder that might uh, um, make your life and you, uh, the people around you uh, not so lovely make, or even make it like hell. You might have marital conflicts or relationship conflicts that you are not able to resolve. And since you have as a principle not to accept help, you will not accept help. So it's dangerous to start a relationship with anybody who declares that they do not approve of therapy. Somebody might answer that question. Have you ever been to therapy? And if not, would you consider therapy when needed? Somebody might ask, no, I've never been to therapy because I haven't, need, I haven't had the need for therapy um, uh, until now. But if in the future I need therapy, I'm willing to ask for it. This is a very good, good answer. It's not a bad answer. Uh, the best answer would be, yes, I've been to therapy because I wanted to improve my life and improve my character, and I'm willing to en enroll in therapy again in the future if needed. We need to get to receive help from mental health professionals in order to make our lives better and in order to make our relationships healthy. Many people live their lives are unhappy lives. They live unhappy lives in unhappy relationships, being married or living with people that they are not uh, deeply connected with, that they do not have uh, communication, that they are not happy with their relationship, but because they strongly are against therapy, they never ask help, they never receive help, and their life and of the ones around them can never be better. I don't believe that everybody should go to therapy now, but I think that going to therapy should be an option for every person, for every child, for every teenager, for every adult. The same way uh, going to a physical doctor is, should be an option for everybody, if you get sick, you should have the opportunity to visit a doctor and get the proper medical care. In the same way, when you have difficulties with your relationships or when you have mental health issues, you should be able to give yourself the opportunity to receive mental health 
care, professional mental health care. Um, I strongly advise single people who watch this video to keep this in mind for themselves and from the and for their uh, uh, perspective partners in the future. Please ask this question: Have you ever been to therapy? And if not, would you consider therapy in case you were in a relationship and you had problems with your partner? If they answer no and no and I will never, you could easily say, no, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. No, I would never be in a relationship with somebody who does not appreciate therapy and is not willing to take advantage of uh, modern mental health medicine. Uh, not medicine, science, from mental health science. There have been huge improvements in psychiatry and psychology and psychotherapy in the last uh, century or so. Uh, nowadays we have the tools and we have the means to help people um, make their lives better, to help people have help with their mental disorders and to help people resolve their conflicts in a healthful, healthy and meaningful way. People who do not appreciate therapy, therapists, psychology, psychiatry and science in general, I think that they are not good um, matches for people who would like to have the best of life. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends or family. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And every Friday around noon, a new video in, in English is uploaded. Thank you very much. Bye.